Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL Evo 2 here today on the channel. We're back with episode 6 of my Richmond Tigers coach career series. Here today we have a Victorian packed episode. We face Carlton first up, then we face the Cats and Collingwood. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, leave it on the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series. And feel free to leave a dislike. We currently sit top of the ladder, um, followed by a really good Essendon and St Kilda side chasing. Top eight is all to play for, but we're trying to continue on our good form and secure and gobble up that minor premiership because we've already been nailed on for finals. We're continuing on from my Hawks career series, which I failed to win the minor premiership. We did win the premiership, so hopefully I can go two years back to back. But let's get stuck into Carlton. Let's have a talk about Carlton real quick. Now, I would say their strengths lie in their defensive unit. Obviously, they've got their new recently signed uh, man, Adam Saad, as well. Uh, Withering's very good at the back. Uh, Liam Jones as well. And we've also got to watch out for the small forward threat, which is Eddie Betts. Everyone loves Eddie Betts. Pushed in the back by Nick Natanui early on. Carlton. They've looked better than us in this first 15. Bolter has to come out. The Blues. Pushing it forward. It's a oh, it's not good mark, but it's about to be a goal in the forward 50. Crips with an absolute beauty there. Kraken goal to start things off for Crips. And Carlton. Far out. Tigers second quarter now. It's this kit, man. We just don't play well in it. We need to play in the home kit. Good mark there by the Blues. What was that, Williamson? I don't even know who that was. Eight minutes in. Carlton. Oh, come on. We can't lose to Carlton. Williamson, yeah. I lost two. Nat Nui gets the ball, fires it forward to Rioli. It's a good mark, but he's not a big enough kick at the 40 from that far. Uh, Cochin, the captain, goes into the forward line, trying to encourage the ball the ball and the guys forward. It is absolutely blowing a gale at the G. Look how much that whipped. But it's a really good goal by Clark. <laughs> that was big, probably. Cochin to score the Tigers first, but it's taken to the third quarter. Lynch. A Bolton. That's a free there by Walsh. Why is he giving away a crazy free kick like that? Caddy. An unlikely goal scorer from this distance. Can he kick it for the Tigers? And he does. Tigers, for the first time in this match, lead. 12 minutes into the third quarter. That's a push in the back. Castagna with a golden opportunity to put us in front. Oh, my God, this win, but he's kicked the goal there. Third quarter, the Tigers have finally woken up. Nan Curvis in the ruck. Nan Curvis gets the nice handball. The Taswegian breaking into the forward 50. Oh, he tried to line it up there, but it's going to be Lynchy now in the box to kick the goal. Dan Curvis unfortunately denied, but we've kicked all our goals in this third quarter now. Dusty comes back on. Dan Curvis in the ruck in the fourth quarter. The Blues go forward. Bolter. Oh, and it's a really good... Marked there by Mitch McGovern. Carlton to bring it back closer for the Blues. Kicks the goal, of course. Mitchie. She's all to play for here. Man. Carlton have given us our first real challenge in a while. Since St. Killer, I think. Rioli there. Tight angle. I don't know if he's going to be able to kick this. 
We'll try it. Rioli steps up. Slots it. Brilliantly as well. My God. We just weren't awake in the first and second. Yeah, get stuck into him. Carlton need to respond from that goal quickly. Oh, we've lost the midfield there. Carlton with the dubby. Nice one-two pass. Come on, guys. Pick up the crumbs. It's another great handball. It's Cripps from range. Oh, my God. He pulls. He's kicked that. Is that his second? Yeah. He's been playing really, really well for the Blues. But it's enough. The Tigers have managed to get over the line. And the minor premiership is still on. Dusty and a little bit of out of form. Two points the difference. The Blues nearly came back there. Cripps with two. Nat Newey, the major ball winners. Walsh there. Man, if they didn't give away those early free kicks in our forward 50, it could have been a very, very uh, different story. Yeah, look at that. They were leading up until the third, and we kicked four. But really good, a, a bit of a sort of mental fortitude to, to, to get over with that one. Right, so round 17, we've got a match against the Hawks. We've already played them this season. I only want to play each team once. They're 11th, so they're going to try and get into their top eight, but we should be far enough in front. We've played against them. We lost, and we've beaten them this time in the simulation, 38-15. O'Brien picks up the man of the match again for the Hawks. So... We've played them twice this season already. Now we can get stuck into the Cats. Revolt's out for a week. So that's going to blunt our forward line. But let's get stuck into Geelong. Oh, what are they? Like 16th now, are they? They must be. Saints, Bombers, Fremantle. All on 40 points. Crazy. That is the full table. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at your favourite team. Yeah, the Cats are 16th. <laughs> They're not going to make finals. How embarrassing. So there's only two points. Really, Carlton, if they won that, they could have made finals. 15th and 8th can all make finals. All those guys. So it's going to be a good final season, I think. A lot of unlikely contenders. Right, let's get stuck into the Cats, who have lost three in their past five. I don't know what's going on with them. They don't have many weaknesses either. They have a stacked line in every position. They have elite midfielders and forwards. I think their major concern is they're just aging, so it's a year on as well. I wonder if Hawkins got that new deal. Ablett's now left as well. He got delisted. But we are going to the Cattery to face the Cats. Of course. A danger field. Tom Hawkins is still there. Our first time playing at the Cattery, it's going to be good. Unfortunately, however though, Revolt's out with an injury. So what I've had to do is I've had to chuck Tex to full forward. He can fill that role quite comfortably, but then that's now brought Shea um, Bolton to half forward. So we'll just have to see how he performs there. I prefer, I prefer him sort of fresh off the bench. So we're missing Revolt. A huge, huge miss. Let's get stuck into the Cats. We need a win here today. Trying to play for the stoppages. A lot of handballs firing about. Caddy, that's terrible. The Cats, after being humiliated this season, get a good mark there with Jenkins. He's going to sit back. Cool, calm, and collectedly, and try and take the set shot. Nat Nui on the mark, trying to jump up and put him off. But Jenkins ain't going to miss from there. Great technical ability. What a finish by Josh Jenkins there for the Cats. Castagna, nice little mark, pushing off the body in the second. Cats lead by four. Castagna trying to find Tex at full forward. He's fumbled it only as far as Bolton. Who manages to get uh, <laughs> boot to ball and scores the first goal for the Tigers. Good stuff there, Bolts. We 
We've started off so slow without Revolt. We're just sort of missing him. Caddy's managed to get to it. Caddy's going to play it short only as far as Tex, who takes the grab. Arguably, Tex could be our full forward. I think he's actually better at half forward because he's a really good kick at the footy. It's blowing a gale here. Look how much that's whipped, but it's okay. We've kicked two at the Cattery. The Tigers lead the Cats. They've really got something to prove this match, the Cats. Bottled it against Richmond, the Gabba. Looks like they're going to bottle it here. Nat Nui wins it. That might be high, but it's no prior opportunity on Duncan, actually. Nan Curvis in the ruck now. Nan Curvis plays it along the floor to Castagna, who gets it over the top to Martin. Bang, smack in front. He doesn't need to take the set shot. He plays on Martin. Puts the Tigers further in front. Things look shaky early on, but we're coming good now. Nat Nui with the good mark. Trying to encourage his boys forward. Nice little handball. Tex Walker, one-on-one, -on -one, shrugs the man on the mark. Tex to score another for this match. Never fear, Tex Walker is here. Taylor with another. Really stepping up in Revolt's ab <laughs> absence. Nat Nui trying to win it. Falls to, uh, unfortunately, Isaac Smith who scores in the fourth for the Cats. Their only second goal of the match. Tigers. Trying to stop the Cats going again. Grimes. And it's Parfit there with a really good mark. I thought he was going to play on there. Bang smack in front. He's going to bring it back to eight points. Uh, I think we're far enough away to be okay, but... Next goal wins. And that's it. The siren has sounded. The Tigers went away at Geelong by eight points. Came close towards the end. Walker stepping up with the absence of Revolt. Played really, really well at the end. And that's probably nailed officially the minor premiership, I would say. Okay, so we've played the Doggies once this season and we beat them. So it's Simulate. They're sitting in 14th. Yeah, so we won against them. Hopefully we can win again. 31-25, a close one. Seven behinds. Rioli picking up the man of the match in this quick simulation. So then we've got the Bombers. We've played them as well this season. We've got enough points, so we'll simulate that. Oh, we lost by a point, really. We've lost twice against the Bombers this season. They're our bogey side, I'd say. Langford there. Oh, 11 behinds? That's ridiculous. Right, let's get stuck into Collingwood because we haven't played them this season. Yeah, the minor premiership's done. We've gone and done it. There's no way they're coming back. Well, I guess the, the Saints can mathematically... Oh, they probably can mathematically still do it. There's still a fair few games left, and it's f four points a game. Yeah, we're not home. I would say we're probably home and hose, to be honest. But we'll just have to see how we go. That top eight is making form now. Unfortunately, Parfit, who hasn't really been in these matches, has picked up a two-week. But it's Nat Nui who's out for three. So that's actually devastating. We've got Nan Curvis and we've got Sol, though. Two very good players off the bench. But Nick Nat Nui is a world-class... Well, I say world-class... It's an Australian car. He's an elite, let's say. It doesn't make sense in Australian football, but I, I guess the comparison's elite. He's an elite ruckman that we're now missing. So now Curvis is going to come in to replace him while we get stuck into the pies. That's the problem with, with um, simulations. We've missed a couple of players out with injury. Varco still playing. Same with Coxie. Uh, Pendlebury as well. Elliot's making up there. But let's get stuck into the pies. The black and white army. For the first time this season. They're going to be facing the yellow wall. The black and yellow. And Lynchy 
Picks up 200 games at the club. Great stuff for Lynchy. Collingwood with the first goal of the match. Stevenson or Stephenson. I don't know how he says it. Tigers can't get it out. Collingwood looking for their second. The American, the Texan, eventually finds Varco. And the Pies score two. We're really missing Nick Nat. Rebolt's come back into the side, though. How? Good interception there by Tex. Taylor Walker. Golden opportunity for the Tigers. Really stepped up in the last match, and he does here today as well. Tex Walker does brilliantly there. Scoring his first. Come on, Edwards celebrating with him. Caddy from halfback trying to find Dustin Martin. Dusty looking to quickly fire it on. He actually fires it to full forward, takes a bounce, and it's Dusty with an absolute beautiful goal outside the 50. Collingwood lead in the second. Rance, good mark. Trying to send the boys forward. Dusty can't quite get to it. It spills. Collingwood now on the attack. Good tackle. Ball. Oh, throwing the ball. Mason Cox. The big Texan throws. Martin now with a set shot. You'd fancy him from this. Oh! Scores two. In quite quick succession, we needed someone to sort of rise to it a bit. Dustin scores his second. Good stuff. Squaring it. Good mark there, Graham. Graham with an opportunity to put the Tigers in front for the first. Oh, no, we're in front, but further in front. We're three points up, actually. I thought we were a little bit behind. But Graham clutches it, though. Again, Tiger Town. Here we come. Cochin. The captain steps up this time. Inch perfect there. Nearly clipping the post. Half time going with a huge morale boost. Fourth quarter now. Still all to play for. Dugowie pushing the back. Lynch finds a revolt. Can't get to the mark. Bolton dropped. The Pies look to counter attack. It actually went over the top of two players there. Prestia with the kick. And of course he's going to kick that. Good stuff. The pies frightened me there for a little bit. Collingwood to full forward. Was that Pantlebury? Yeah, it was too. That was an absolute belter. Collingwood might get another one here. Penderbury scored before Brown there. Yeah. Okay. Don't fluff this up, boys. Good tackle. We claim the win by four points. <laughs> Man, it's been really snatch and grab in these matches. We've only won by a couple of points. Four there. Against Collingwood. And that is a man of the match award for Martin. And we should, after this, um, episode 7 coming out, um, we should have some finals footy. So stay tuned for more stay tuned for more episodes on the channel. Hope you enjoyed this Victorian team special, let's say. 
Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.